reading the tea. <laughs> hey guys, how are you? It's been a while. Welcome to my new room slash studio. It's always been that way here. Um, we're going to talk about empties, but we're also going to talk about what I used in 2023, which was a year unlike any other <laughs> in its simplicity um, in terms of my journaling, uh, but also I just, I learned a lot. I learned a lot and, um, you know, not to get all big and philosophical, but here goes. Here's my bag of empties. This is a gallon Ziploc. And we're going to start off by counting the glues. I buy my glue sticks at um, the Dollar Tree. Uh, these are the Elmer's glue washable school stick. And um, I have in my hand five. No, two, four, five. Five plus about half in the one that I'm currently using. So five and a half went into this year. Ooh. I knew I could take these stuff out. I just didn't know, didn't think what to do with it afterwards. All right. Um, this little pack of paper here uh, is about 365 pages of paper, which came from um, my Stology journal, A5, which I had cut down at Staples at the beginning of the year, which would have been my planner. We'll talk about that in a bit, but I saved the paper because why not? Um, it works great for like testing things, the swatching things, I should say, swatching things. Okay, so I finished a roll of washi tape, Christmas washi tape specific. I don't finish a lot of washi tape. Okay, I use this white Uniball Signo pen um, exclusively. I finished two. And how's the one in here looking? It's already, it's already looking like it's going to be replaced soon. So two and a half, let's say, of the Uniball Signal. It's the only reliable white pen that I have found. Next, I am retiring my, Saras my Zebra Sarasa clip pens. This is the 07 and this is the 03. So these are retiring. I am currently working on the 05, but it, it knows that I want to retire it because it just keeps going and going and going. We have one of each of the Furunosuke um, Tombo, Tombo Furunosuke soft tip and hard tip. Um, also have one, finally, because this, this lasted me for like a few years. Uh, this is the Furunosuke Duel, the gray and the black, which I use now, like, the most. Um, I am retiring this Pilot G205. This was a pencil. This was a mechanical pencil. I am retiring this um, Tombow Mono Zero um, eraser. It is so small and thin that I spend more time breaking the eraser than I actually spend time actually getting into the erasable things. You know what I mean? I finished a chapstick. <laughs> I'm currently working on two. I have two going on. I have one in the car and one in my in my um, Delphonics bag, um, and I haven't finished either one. So, but I, so I finished one. I have two going on. 
I finished one of my Tombow, this is my like highlighter planner pen, uh, marker. Uh, this is the 942. I use this one exclusively pretty much. Um, finished one. The other one is also looking like it's about to hit the bucket. So that one's about to get, so it was about one and a half. Uh, let's see. I finished the big. <laughs> I finished the big. And this was finished in great part due to the lessons learned um, this year uh, in my uh, Manifesting a Magical Life with Leanne Aligns. Um, we'll talk more about the journals that I finished, but that pick went in there. Um, I finished Carbon Ink in black. This is my last cartridge in black. Um, we're retiring those. We're also retiring my Sarasa Multi Clip uh, white one. We're saying goodbye to this one. Bye bye. And La Pièce de Resistance. Um, in my multi pen, both the one that I'm retiring and my current one, I use the Sarasa, obviously, the Sarasa multi you know the the little cartridges so i used four brown ones in the this is 0.5 i believe yeah 0.5 so four in the 0.5 i finished one red one this is the one i use for my little one but also like um you know lady tracking and then i used one black one one black refill so, which we'll be retiring because no more black ink. Goodbye. It's empty. Okay. Cheers to what I am using because you want to know what I am using, right? So let's let's quickly empty out this. I've got a half empty glue stick. I've got my um, half used 942 Tombow. I've got my dot markers in coral, yellow, fawn, purple, or lavender, I'm not sure how they say it, and pink. And then I've got the juicy, um, I can't remember, the, I can never, Pentel, 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 Pentel ink, Pentel ink, which uh, the black one I am retiring. But I have one in walnut, which I changed. I have scissors. This is my favorite hand cream. It's Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E, Dry Skin Heals Therapy, Heal Softens. I love this. It makes me smell like chocolate, so eat me up. <laughs> These are my favorite three... Um, pencils. I've got the Mitsubishi Double Vermilion and Parisian Blue. I've got the Platinum Ink Carbon and which I cut that I filed <laughs> I cut down. And then I've got my rainbow pencil. Um what else do I have? I have my stencils. Four stencils. One is from Muji, at two are from Hobonichi and this one is from your guess is as good as mine. What else do I have in here? Okay, so then I have my current Tombow, my current um, Tombow Furunosuke's hard, dual black gray and soft. I will, with the exception of these three pens, no more black ink, which I know it sounds crazy, but deal with me. I've got a 401 Tombow blue because sometimes I like to highlight, now that it's snowing, I like to like make little. This is my Derwent purple, and this is my Uniball white. I've got an acrylic thing in there, and my usual um, toothbrush travel holder with my four main brushes, a number 12, a number one, number four, and a number eight. 
and this is a angle brush that I use to <laughs> splatter. It comes with a sound effect. I kid you not, it comes with a sound effect. Bic cover it all white out. I don't use it a lot, a lot, a lot, because I live with my mistakes. But sometimes in planning, little things happen, so real quick. And it comes with sound effects too. You guys are mostly related. Um, I don't know how to say the name of this brand, but this is my favorite sharpener. And at Big Joe's, they have like a, it's either clear or white. Either way, I want to, I don't want the pink one anymore. I want, I want a different, I want a white one, so, or a clear one. So uh, at some point I'll be changing it. I'll give that one to the kids. Um, I've got clear sticky notes. I've got a couple of refills for my pen. And I've got a Band-Aid because, you know, shit happens. My black eraser I believe the eraser is from Tombow I believe the black eraser is Tombow but the housing is a Stedler I have I have absolutely no loyalty brand loyalty Zebra Sarasa Multi Pen. This one is the one that's replacing the white one that I. Oh, maybe I want a what a black sharpener then. I don't know. Um. Anyways, I I changed it for two reasons. This one has a clip, and the other one did not, and that really bothered me. This one also has an eraser, which the other one did not, and that really bothered me. And the third reason, which did not really bother me, this barrel is smaller, and since I have smaller hands, it does fit better. The other big barrel doesn't bother me because even though I have small hands, I sometimes enjoy like a bigger barrel just, you know, to, because I feel like an early onset of arthritis. Um, Okay, so what else? That's it. I've got headphones and a couple of doodads in there that, you know, aren't important. Let's get to the journals. In order, okay? In order, in order, in order. So, when we started the year, we already had this composition notebook. This composition notebook houses my manifesting magnet magic this year. This is the book by Heather Mattern. Hello, um, Kate. Hello Blank Pages. This little book has helped me in the past two years to figure out my word of the year in a much more intentional way. Check it out, it's on Amazon. Um, anyways, that's the composition notebook. That's sort of like a yearly book that I come back to around like Thanksgiving weekend so that I start thinking about like my word of the year. Anywho, then we started out last year as you may recall with these two covers which are my own journals which i published on amazon still available still available no longer available the comp this is my my um composition notebook um it features annie in her from anna logo um it, and i just love the matte feeling of this it's so good Anyways, in here, like I said before, I have my Manifesting a Magical Life course with Leanne Line. I did it in the winter and then um, joined her for the next one, I wanna say in the spring. And all of the stuff in here, number one, it's her course information. And then second of all, it's you know my own private musings. So, um, but so much good stuff. If you guys are into the woo-woo, this journal carried me from uh, December 2022 uh, in the later part because, yeah, like, oh, okay. December 15th through uh, I can show you this, I guess. Some really big visions in life um intentions and and just really cool stuff so 
love this journal. Worked out really well for what it, the purposes of it. Next, my planner. So I, like I said, I published my planner because I was all intent on using a standard, um, which is like four by eight ish, 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 ish. And, uh, and I started out real happy and then I just lost interest. And you can watch my flip through of this. Um, and I had a lot of fun, but I just, at some point I just needed more. And, um, how did this come about? So this particular one is a Strathmore mixed media, 64 pages. This one came from Brie, Documented Journey. She was looking to rehome the journal and I offered to accept and use this one as a sketchbook. And also I had some floating pages from other things that like other journals that I had started that didn't go anywhere. So I ended up adding them in here and I love how this, um, you know, filled out. And so Strathmore for the win. I really, really enjoy Strathmore mixed media, specifically the mixed media paper, even though I'm a watercolor person because I still do enjoy adding ink at the end and splatter and you know if I want to take more stuff to it and I'm heavy handed with water and you know all the things. Okay so when the planner and when the planner um didn't take in the standard um and I was having so much fun in a, a big sketchbook guess what I went and got a big sketchbook, <laughs> a B5 Stology, and made this into my planner and sketchbook journal and all the things. And so much fun, so much fun in here. Um, this went through, there's a little bit of back planning in here because I always have to keep my entire year with me regardless of where we are. So this looks like it started, I have no idea, in the summer. This was, this. okay, so I'm trying to recreate that composition notebook from the year before. Um, so this was a summer thing. And again, summer is great for a big journal because, you know, real life is looser. But this ends in September when the kids go back to school and life gets real. So B5 Stology. Uh, B5 Stology led us back down to a smaller size. This is the B6 Stology. This is where I'm currently at. We are, I, I, I have pulled pages out, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I pull pages out sometimes. But it's really, really fluffy on one side and it's super <laughs> on the other, so it's hard to know where I'm at really but you know i'd say probably like halfway who knows um give or take some pages that have been pulled out and then in an attempt to um keep some some artwork in a more professional um no not not really that i just wanted to work on the folk week folk tale week um so i started this in november and I did a couple prompts and then one of my kids got sick and then I fell off the wagon. So I've got, again, I also pulled out pages out of this journal to share at my watercolor um, like workshop in real life. So I'm not devastated because these pages can just go live in a different journal or whatever. But yeah, I've got some pages left in here. Oh, oh no, there's some stuff in here. Oh, just random stuff. Um, okay. And then I've got some swatches because from here, I swatched out my entire watercolor pan, my 48 colors at the beginning of the year and removed quite a bit of colors, maybe half. And then at some point did this around November and downsized even more from what I had down to what I currently carry in my watercolor palette. Um, uh, and so we've just got some some colors and also grown quite fond of these uh, um, neo color aquarelle like crayons 
And then I've got a couple of um, Karan de Ache. <laughs> That's so not how you say that. Um, in brown and red. Anyways, uh, this is a constant, you know, evolution, whatever I'm into and using and who knows what. But those are the, oh, and last but not least, cheers to my MVP of all things, my little rag. This is, this, you know, it's inked. It's, it's God knows what. It's got tears, sweat, and blood on it at this point. Anyways, out with the old, in with the new. Hope you enjoyed that little, um, you know, video. We're back at it, back in action. Um, I'll see you guys real soon with some flip throughs and some more fun content. Leave me comments down below if we have stuff in common, if you think I should try some stuff out, if you think, you know, if you have some concerns, some suggestions um all the things uh i'll talk to you guys later bye